Hey, honey, have you heard about the global warming story that should have been on all the networks across America and the world? No? Well, what happened was there was a scientist by the name of Chris Turney. He was an expedition leader and a professor of climate change at the University of South Wales. Do you know how far South Wales is away from here? Wow, it's pretty far. At any rate, he was going on an expedition to discover and communicate the environmental changes taking place in the South. He was almost on the South Pole. He was in Antarctica, and his ship got stuck in the ice while looking for a big boiling vat of cl climate change. You know, this global warming stuff, like maybe it'll be boiling around Antarctica and the steam would be coming up, all sorts of hot water coming up there. But no, instead they found ice and more ice. So much that on Christmas Day of 2013, their ship froze and they got stuck in the ice. They had to be rescued by helicopter on January 2nd of 2014. Did you hear about that one, honey? Well, you're probably right along with 98% of other Americans, because 98% of the stories ignored the fact that the icebound ship was on a global warming mission. Okay, we've established that now. But well, why is it that only 2% in the media decide to report something on this? Do you believe in global warming? Oh, the silence, silence is deafening. At any rate, there's the story. Global warming, freezing out of the news. These media lapdogs, what would they do? What on earth would they do if it was global warming and they found this big vat of boiling water at the South Pole? Do you think they would have reported that? Of course they would. Why won't they report the truth that it's really cold near Antarctica and global warming hasn't melted the ice?